A question always comes up of how many ice ages were there? They used to say there were four ice ages, and this is based on an analysis of the glacial debris in the central United States, central and northern Midwest. And then when they thought there were only four, they saw four everywhere, or three or five, or something like four. If there's only three, it got missed one time, they would say. It was kind of like a circular reasoning where they saw it everywhere. And in fact, even though the concept's been dead over 30 years, it still is in some museums. Now, they realize that when a glacier forms and moves, it tears up the, the previous ice ages, and so you can't really tell. So now they say we gotta go to the ocean bottom uh, to determine the, the number of ice ages. So they take these deep sea cores and they core the bottom of the ocean. They bring it up and they analyze oh, a number of variables in it. The percentage of carbonates, also the percentage of a certain isotope of oxygen. They do this ratio of oxygen 16 to oxygen 18 and they analyze this down the core. And it's, it wiggles like this, you know, it's high and then it goes low, high, low. And down the core, they get multiple oscillations. In fact, up to 50 now. And they claim that the cause of those oxygen oscillations is due to the glacial interglacial cycles on land. And so they claim now there's 50 ice ages in regular succession in the last 2.5 million years of, of uniformitarian Earth history. The last 800,000 they were separated by 100,000 years. Before that, they were separated by 40,000 years. You might wonder, why is that? Well over 60 theories, they decided they're, they're gonna believe in the astronomical theory due to the orbital changes in the geometry of the Earth going around the sun. Slight changes in the orbit, it'll be a little flatter. The tilt of the Earth changes a little bit. And the precession of the equinox, they call it, it just changes the, the geometry of the Earth sun relationships so they, that you get a little different sunlight in different areas. Because of these changes in the, the geometry of the Earth, the amount of sunlight varies seasonally and latitudinally. And when you get low solar radiation in high northern latitudes, that's supposed to be correlated with ice ages. And when you get more sunlight, it's correlated with interglacials. So this is how they, they, they do it and they make these cycles up and they fit everything into these cycles because they believe in the astronomical theory of the ice ages and it's these deep sea cores that they claim is evidence. But there's a lot, a lot of variables associated with the, these interpretations. This is interpretation of, of data. You do have the wiggles. There's lots of other variables involved. I don't believe they have anything to do with the ice age.